MSC Seashore's home port is currently out of Port Canaveral in Florida. We did park at the cruise port in Terminal 10. We did pay about $17 a day with tax to park here. It was great for us because it was right across from the cruise ship, so we didn't have to take a bus or anything to get to the ship. Our embarkation process was a breeze. We were out of the car, our luggage was checked in, we were um, checked into our cruise and getting on board within about 25 minutes that day. So kudos to MSC for doing such a great job and making the whole embarkation process so seamless for us. And we were on the ship within minutes. The atrium on MSC Seashore was absolutely beautiful. Everything was sparkly, everything was shiny, there was chrome everywhere, the colors were gorgeous. It is four stories and when you're up top you look down onto the atrium bar there were screens everywhere. It was so pretty. The crystal staircase that wraps around both sides of the atrium was so pretty. It was amazing to see. People like to stop here to take pictures. It was just so, so magical. I absolutely love the stairs and taking pictures on the stairs just makes you look kind of like a princess. We headed out to the pool deck to check out the area. It was really, really large and it had a big screen TV. The area was really nice. There was already people out in the pool. We've got some great photo op locations. And then we headed over to Pirate's Cove, the water park, to see what it's all about. It wasn't open yet since we were still at port, but it was such a fun area. We did do all of the water slides one day and played around this area for a little bit. It was so great for kids, for adults. Um, it's, it's definitely for the whole family. I would definitely check it out on your next sailing on the seashore. If you're a fan of sushi, check out Kato Sushi Bar. For $39 per person, you have 45 minutes to eat at the Conveyor Belt Sushi Restaurant. You just pick whatever plate you want and just eat it for $39. It's a great deal. No, that's that 17. But we are doing the no stir <laughs> challenge right now. Yeah, we're the crazy ones. We're on deck eight. We're trying to get to 13. So, wish us luck.
our sail away party was football theme because it was Super Bowl Sunday. All of the entertainers were dressed up in Super Bowl football attire and cheerleaders. It was such an awesome show and the energy they brought definitely hyped everybody up for the big game later on. We went down to our stateroom for when we left port, so we were able to people watch, wave at everybody that was on shore, and something fun to do if you have a balcony, bring a neon shirt or towel and wave it around because people on shore absolutely go wild when they see that. We made our way down to the main dining room for dinner where it was such a treat. The service was great. The food was fantastic. Our dessert was really great. I had something that resembled like creme brulee, but it was different. It was really good. Dustin had ice cream and a brownie. Stop, no, 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 no. 
After watching the Atrium Variety Show, we headed over to the Jungle Pool area and checked that out while nobody was in there. The pool was already closed for the night, but we got to kind of explore, look around. It is such a pretty area to hang out. That is it for our first day on MSC Seashore. We will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. We are here on day two. We are getting ready to dock at Ocean K. At today's itinerary, we ran a 5k on the island. We hung out on the beach at Ocean K and we went on the Bridge of Sai and looked out onto the ocean. After dinner, we walked around and explored the ship for a while, went and watched one of the shows, which was absolutely fabulous. And after that, we noticed that the beach party on Ocean K had started. So we headed down to the beach to have some fun.
Good morning, this is day three. We are still at Ocean K. There is a storm rolling in today, so we did not get a good beach day. It did rain on us, but we did walk around, take in all the sights, and just watch the waves crashing onto shore. As the sun sets on our third day, we have a left Ocean K and we are now getting ready for our event tonight. It happens to be Mardi Gras. Yes, this ship fell on a whole bunch of holidays and Mardi Gras is one of them and they actually threw a big Mardi Gras party for us, Yelsey. Our Mardi Gras night started off with a dueling piano show. They started singing Sweet Caroline, which got the crowd going wild. Everybody was singing along. It was a great time. Everybody loves Sweet Caroline, especially with karaoke. So this was a great choice for them. After that, the cruise director came on stage. Well, now that Mardi Gras party is over, we have another party to go get ready for. We have the famous MSC White Party.
Good morning. After a wild night last night, today we are a little tired, so we did not venture too far from the cruise port. We hung out at the cruise port area, looked at all the stores, walked over to the Queen Staircase, which was not too far, just a couple of miles from the cruise port, and we were able to visit first thing in the morning prior to anybody getting there. So we had the queen staircase all to ourselves, which was absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a ton of content that we are going to be releasing. We have several new cruises that we are going to be going on here soon, so stay tuned.